I mean, why not destroying this whole thing here? Hi, I'm Milton Chang of Bonsai Elong. I will work on this uh, huge prostrata juniper, uh, which I bought from Hiro uh, Sakioka uh, in uh, oh, about 25 years ago. I took a he, uh, Hiro took a bonsai class with me about 1972, and he wound up uh, quitting the bonsai class, but he because he has a very large wholesale nursery under the power line in uh, Huntington Beach, California. And this tree was grown in a uh, uh, probably 36 inch uh, uh, pot box, uh, huge. And if you come close up, you will see, I cut off here and cut off here. And then these are the little branches that came up growing. And then I used that to design the shape of the tree. And those were tiny little branches then. There was a big branch growing up this was just a little tiny branch, uh, branch here, and then I broke this off, so that's uh, become a, a narrower tree. And then you can see in the back, there's a huge scar. Uh, also, uh, that's a tiny little branch, but now uh, it becomes a very nice curve. But it started off as a huge tree, and you just pick the branches to work on uh, to get the shape you want. And, uh, and that's the tree. And so uh, now I have to figure out how to design this to modify the design and also to show you how to create paths. So let me study this with you to decide what to do. So uh, the problem with this tree right now uh, is that uh, this branch died off, uh, which was going to be my apex. And so now I'm going to decide what to do with the apex. The way I see it now is that I can be very dramatic Make this one the apex. Now you have a tree that's kind of hovering and then coming up this way. Or I can be more conservative, make this one the apex. So it'll be apex here and then it's a lot more conservative uh, to be um, like here. And then these are the branches. Well, you know, uh, to tell the truth, no pain, no gain. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, be a little bit adventuresome and also try out a new technique uh, by breaking this branch and pull this one up uh, to see if I can do it. If not, I'll rever reverting back to this one uh, to see if I can make this part the apex. Like right now, uh, the first step is let me take out of the pot so I can, I can work on the root age. Uh, the soil mix is not very good because I was still experimenting with the soil mix and still believing what the old guys told me about using very uh, coarse material, in this case, uh, literally pebbles and uh, lava rock. But uh, I will change that into my current planting uh, mix. So again, uh, this tree really has a problem uh, in, the, in a sense, it doesn't have a really good clear apex. And this branch is a little bit broken, but it, it's uh, holding, so that's good. So um, let me take it out of the pot, uh, reorient it to see what I can come up with a design. Wow, this is a huge tree, I tell you. You can see there are a lot of uh, roots, fibrous roots, so, um, so this tree is really quite healthy. You can see this root looks like it's dead, but it's got fibrous roots growing in the bottom very healthily. So this is a very healthy tree, although it looks uh, a little bit sad at the top.
Boy, look at this tree, incredible. Look at this, the base. Once I put this into the, my uh, current standard uh, soil mix, this will, tree will absolutely grow fast. It will blow your mind uh, in terms of how beautiful it, it will be. Look at all this dead wood uh, from the, uh, actually, it's actually from, uh, they call it carpenter ants. Uh, so I need to clean that up uh, by putting, sorry, putting sprays in it. But look at how beautiful, how natural all of this rotting uh, uh, shari looks like, or the, the trunk looks like. Now let's see what I can do to avoid the apex problem. Well, the apex problem is solved if I orient the tree this way because this branch is up quite a bit and I can use uh, any of these branches to uh, make it into a, uh, in fact, I can use this one into an apex or this into an apex. So what I would do, uh, although I need to emphasize this one, so um, one possibility is now, in fact, using this as the apex. So this part can become the apex, look at that. Now the tree, I can accentuate this part in a slant and it comes up. I think that can be quite interesting. So with that in mind then, uh, let us get to work. Many of you, you are kind of worrying about me uh, cutting off the leaves too much. And I've been doing that to uh, really uh, shape the original uh, shape of the, uh, the branching. But at this late stage, I think I should be more conservative and I, and I should use the pruning or the uh, pull of the tree in a sense that you clip a tree to, sh to get its rough shape and so that it will grow up and then you work on the fine details. So this is a roughly the orientation I would do. I would still adjust it a little bit, but I would not clip off too much of the uh, green so that the tree will recover a little bit faster. And then this branch can be coming down. And this is fairly supple, so I can do that. So this can come down. This is by far from being correct, but uh, next time when they, there's more growth, uh, I will be able to uh, adjust it. So I'm going to do a little bit of wiring and anchor wiring uh, to uh, get the tree to shape in reasonable shape. And then the next time I'll do more detail uh, to get it to better shape as I'm refining each stage as I go. Again, I'm going to do it quite quickly because I'm not afraid to make mistakes, uh, the trees will recover for me to uh, uh, reshape it again if I made a mistake. So not to worry. And I think I said I will use this, the apex. I think this may be the apex, so it's, uh, it's closer to the, uh, the top.
Now when I'm, I did the, I finished the rough pruning uh, to shape it, and then I can worry about it uh, in the future to uh, fine tune it again. And then I would need to uh, wire it, uh, both use the traditional wiring and use the anchoring and combination in, or in combination so uh, that I can um, turn it into a bonsai of good shape. So let me summarize uh, about what I've done so far. Uh, first of all, as usual, I uh, clean up the roots so I know how I can uh, maximize the design. If the roots is not right, the bonsai will never look right. So uh, this tree, again, uh, was from a 36-inch box. I cut it back drastically and let the little branch grow out to, to design it. And the tree was probably 20, 30 years old at the time uh, because it took a long time uh, to grow the tree. And Hiro uh, Sagioka-san uh, was a long-term Orange County uh, resident. And so I suspect the tree is probably 25, 30 years old. And then I had it for about 20 years. So call it 50 years is this tree. And you can see how big the trunk is. And this is all rotten away by carpenter ants. That would be beautiful. And I, and I had a real problem. I had it this way, and I couldn't see there's any apex. But now, once I reorient it, I can see this is going to be a kind of tall tree, really great taper. And then uh, this can be my apex very naturally uh, without having to arbitrarily create a, uh, artificially arbitrarily create a, uh, a, an apex. With that in mind, then, I'm going to put it back in a pot. The likelihood is that I will use probably, in, in this case, maybe an oval pot. And, um, and then the, with a the slanted style, could be very interesting. Look at that. Oh, man. What a beauty this is going to be. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, anchoring, wire anchoring, and I'll try to do it where the wood is dead, so I don't have to worry about scarring the tree. And this one wants to come down. I mean, we're not destroying this whole thing here. I'm gonna make this little branch into the apex because you can see the tree comes up from here, goes this way, and then comes up and then goes this way. So it uh, rhymes with this flow. And it's uh, very tiny now, uh, the branch, but it will thicken fairly quickly. Uh, in in, uh, in a less than a year, it will be as thick as this. So uh, it would, uh, in two years, it will be a perfect apex. And I'm not going to worry about it right now, the detail, but eventually it looks just fine. And then I'll, um, so as not to confuse, I'll cut this off so that uh, I will never uh, mistaken that as not being the con a apex. And then this, uh, because I don't want this to stick up at all. Again, this is just a, uh, a part of the process, not something you would do towards the end of this uh, design of the tree. So this little apex will grow out fairly rapidly, so not to worry about it. Uh, right now it's looking pretty small.
think the point, point about anchoring, say you want to get the branch to roughly the same, uh, the right direction so that it would uh, look nice in the long run. You see, I'm very casual, just do whatever simplest way to get the, the branch where it wants to be. Uh, so it's all very quick. In selection of the parts, uh, you can see uh, the fact that this tree is very old, it can fit in the re rectangular part that will rhyme with it. On the other hand, this tree got tremendous amount of flow, so a round part is really more appropriate. That's why I think it looks better if you compare the before and after parts. And one last thing is about the, the thickness of the part. John Naka had a very simple rule, which I think is quite uh, true, is that the base of the tree determines how thick the part is. They should be about the same dimension. And you can see this tree is about this wide, and this tree is about this high, the part. So it's a little bit over size in terms of height, but you know, it, it's uh, your, your eye can accommodate, your judgment can accommodate. And someday if I come across a nice part that's a little shallow or that's round and a little bit more feature, I think I will switch into that one. But in the meantime, uh, give it a little bit more space for, to grow. And I put in my standard soil mix, which really in my case is com uh, comprised of the, the soil from my farm, uh, plus the uh, peat moss, and plus perlite, about one part to one part to one part. And this tree will absolutely thrive. You'd be surprised how much it looks in about six months. So uh, we'll go through that again. Uh, well, let me summarize what I did. I, I took out the soil to see the roots, and then I reoriented until I find the apex and the, the design of the tree that optimized the design. And this is about a 50-year-old tree. You can see the dead wood, the rotten wood, and all that. And um, I, I uh, created the paths and pulled the branches to mainly where it wants to be. And uh, for example, this one can be going down a little bit. And then uh, that one can go down a little bit too. But you know, uh, I, I have plenty of time to fine tune it. Like my video, if you think I'm informative and uh, because I need the brownie points and I like that. And subscribe to our channel so that we can notify you of uh, our future posting and visit our website to join the giveaway of the 10 bonsai tree to thank our audience. So thank you very much. See you next week.